Tanya comes here every month to place flowers at the memorial dedicated to Daphne Caruana Galizia, the Maltese investigative journalist murdered in a car bombing here on October the 16th, 2017. Today, Tanya says justice is needed. Three suspects have been arrested and should go on trial soon, but those who ordered the killing have still not been identified. The day, whoever is responsible for this is uh, established, and uh, perhaps then we can rest and uh, see that justice is done. Petrol smuggling, offshore accounts, corruption, money laundering. Daphne's investigations were wide ranging and far reaching, up to the highest levels of government. Manuel Delia, blogger and friend of Daphne, is continuing the fight despite threats and being branded a traitor. The more time passes, the more we realize is that democracy doesn't really work well here, is that the rule of law does not prevail, is that institutions are completely co-opted and possessed by the government, and the government is possessed by people who are motivated by their own power and personal profit. The investigation has reportedly revealed links between one of the suspects and Malta's economy minister, who denies any involvement. The opposition has risen to the occasion. We didn't just lose Daphne, we lost an investigative journalist and we lost a powerful voice that was so important in our democracy. Daphne's investigations have continued after her death. An international group of journalists has picked up her work where she left off under the name of The Daphne Project and others in Malta are also getting mobilised. There's a offshoot of civil society called Occupy Justice, formed of a woman, very strong-willed, no-nonsense woman who told the Prime Minister in his face, we are not afraid to denounce you. It's unprecedented. They took courage from Daphne. The dead journalist's family has asked for the government to order an independent inquiry to probe whether the murder could have been prevented, but that request has so far fallen on death. Yes.